Hey, what's up guys? Well, welcome to today's jailbreak update video. Now this update video was inspired because Apple released iOS 12.1.4 to the general public to address the major FaceTime bug that basically allowed people to eavesdrop on other people's conversation. So it's a major fix. We're gonna talk about this. Should you guys update? What it means for the jailbreaking community on iOS 12? Um, and some of the latest updates with the rootless jailbreak and a lot more. So stay tuned. All right, so right off the bat, definitely give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you wanna check out more information down below, there will be a link to our Best Tech Info website with an awesome article and more awesome content as well. Also, if you guys wanna stay updated with the latest jailbreaking updates, don't forget to subscribe before you head out. Anyway, let's get directly into the news. All right, well, let's start off by talking about iOS 12.1.4. I first wanted to mention everyone that wants to jailbreak in the near future, do not update to this software, and I'll tell you exactly why you don't need to later in this video. But if you want to jailbreak in the near future, the best place to be is on iOS 12 up to iOS 12.1.2. If you're on iOS 12.1.3, or if you happen to already be on iOS 12.1.4 or in 12.2 beta, downgrade immediately. Now, unfortunately, iOS 12.1.2 and 12.1.1 and all of the firmwares of iOS 12 that I was just talking about that you guys should downgrade to are no longer being signed by Apple. Only iOS 12.1.3 and iOS 12.1.4 are currently signed. That being said, I just checked as of recording this video, the iOS 12.1.1 beta 3, for whatever reason, is still being signed by Apple so it is possible to downgrade to a beta firmware of iOS 12.1.1. And I did a video about that yesterday if you guys wanna check that out. But if you're just seeing this video for the first time and if you wanna jailbreak in the near future, downgrade now if you're on iOS 12.1.3 or above. Again, every user on iOS 12 to 12.1.2, just stay there, you're perfectly fine. That warning was only for people on iOS 12.1.3 or above. All right, so with that warning in place, let's talk about iOS 12.1.4. Well, like I said at the beginning of this video, this addresses the major FaceTime bug that allowed people to basically eavesdrop on other people with group FaceTime. Well, after this bug was discovered, Apple immediately shut down the group FaceTime servers. And while that was a temporary fix, they announced that later last week, they were going to release an update. Well, that got pushed to this week and almost the end of this week. Well, that update is now now finally here in iOS 12.1.4. And since this update has been released, Apple has re-enabled the group FaceTime servers, but only for iOS 12.1.4 and above. Apparently group FaceTime is going to be permanently disabled for iOS 12.1.3 and below. So that is why users on iOS 12.1, 12.1.1, or 12.1.2 really have nothing to fear. You are completely safe remaining on those firmwares. No one can eavesdrop on you as group FaceTime is now disabled permanently for those firmwares. So now it becomes the rock in the hard place again. Do you guys want group FaceTime or do you want to jailbreak? And for me, that answer is super easy. I could give a shit less about group FaceTime. I just want an iOS 12 jailbreak. Anyway, with that being the case, definitely do not update to the software. Again, both iOS 12.1.4 and iOS 12.1.3 for that matter have really minor changes. It's just under the hood improvements. You're not missing out on too much. I would say group FaceTime time is now the biggest thing you're missing out on if you update to these firmwares. But if you remain on iOS 12.1.2 or below, you have a jailbreak coming very soon for you guys. There is an official ETA. Now a rootless jailbreak has already come out for these firmwares, but it is really difficult to get tweaks running and working correctly. Granted, it is really impressive what can already be done. I installed Zenth and a couple other tweaks that look just absolutely fantastic. I've snowboarded for theming and these icon masks. And as of yesterday, even BioProtect now works with Face ID. It's just absolutely insane how many developers are already updating their tweaks with this very complicated rootless jailbreak. 
and it's very hard to install tweaks. Like I said, it takes a lot of time and really not that many tweaks at this current point in time are supported. So that's why we've kind of been holding off on covering the rootless jailbreak. But some of the updates as of late are this, the user interface to jailbreak has slightly changed a little bit. And I would say most importantly, Filesa now comes pre-installed with this jailbreak. So it makes it just a little bit easier to modify system files on the fly directly on your device. But really as of recording this video, there's not an easy way to install tweaks. I'm sure that will be coming very soon. And when I feel comfortable that there is an easy, straightforward way to install tweaks on this jailbreak, we may be covering it. But guys, since iOS 12.1, Point two and below are no longer being signed, I would just wait and not attempt to use this jailbreak. You guys only have one shot now if you did not save your blobs, and really, I would not risk that with this rootless jailbreak. Modifying system files and manually installing tweaks has a very high chance and it's very risky to boot loop your devices. And unfortunately, since iOS 12.1.2 and below are no longer being signed, you'll be out of luck. Again, to stress this to the utmost importance, if you guys update to iOS 12.1.3 or above, a jailbreak will not be coming for you guys anytime soon. It could be months before any development is released for an iOS 12.1.3 jailbreak or above. The sweet spot, like I've been saying throughout this entire video, is iOS 12 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2, and beta firmwares are perfectly fine. Now, in my last video, like I said, I advised users to downgrade from iOS 12.1.3 to 12.1.1 beta 3 while it's still being signed. And I'm sure a lot of people are realizing that that annoying beta prompt comes up every time you open up your device. And yes, that is true, that will happen and it is fixable, but there has to be a jailbreak out for iOS 12. Now to get into it a little bit, there's a tweak called no beta prompt, which basically removes that beta prompt from ever appearing. And it's super easy to install with Cydia when a jailbreak is out that includes Cydia. Now it sounds like initial beta support might be coming to this rootless jailbreak, but again, that tweak will have to be installed manually, and it is just a pain in the butt to install tweaks manually, guys, and it's very risky, so I cannot stress this enough. If you guys have waited this long to jailbreak your devices, just give it another month, and we'll have a full-fledged jailbreak utility for iOS 12 to 12.1.2. Lastly, I just wanted to advise everyone that's on iOS 12.1.2 or below, again, just stay there, but one thing you have to be cautious for is these over-the-air software updates. They can sometimes accidentally be installed in the background, and it's a really good idea just to block these over-the-air updates entirely. And an easy way to do that is downloading the tvOS beta profile from this site here. Again, links in their cards now or down below in this video's description. If you guys install this profile just by clicking download, download anyways, it will install this profile. You can just go through, enter your password right here, click install, install, and it should ask you to restart once you're done. You guys should restart. I'll just hit not now for the purpose of this video. But basically what this does is now in your settings app, when you go to software update, it's going to say iOS 12.1.2 or whatever firmware you're currently running, it's going to say that your software is up to date and that's the latest version. Basically, it's going to block these over there updates. And this is a great thing to do. It takes absolutely two seconds to install this to ensure your iPhone will not be updated overnight by accident if you guys have waited this long for an iOS 12 jailbreak. Anyway, that's pretty much the gist of everything I wanted to cover in today's video. iOS 12.1.4 has been released to address the FaceTime bug. Group FaceTime now is re-enabled, but only on iOS 12.1.4, so you're perfectly safe remaining on iOS 12.1.2 or below. No one is going to hack into your phone with FaceTime. No one can eavesdrop on you. And really, the ultimate choice now is to jailbreak or to have group FaceTime. And like I 
said earlier, that's an easy and straightforward choice to me. I'm going to remain on iOS 12.1.2 and wait for the full-fledged jailbreak utility. As you guys can see, a ton of progress has already been made. Developers are already starting to update their tweaks for iOS 12. It's absolutely incredible what's going on in the jailbreaking community. Hopefully, I'll have some awesome news for you guys in the days to come. But until next time, this is Tony signing out. Thank <laughs> you.